a rarity in the tech community right now, um, the unicorn of smartphones, if you will. Um, this is the One Plus One. Hey, all right, what is up everybody? So today I have for you a product that I've been wanting to get my hands on for, I'd have to think I, I read about this about six months ago, maybe longer. And it is the One Plus One smartphone. And this is, it's going around the tech websites now, but this is something you cannot buy from a store or even order directly online. They have a invite system that you need the invite to actually be able to purchase the phone. Um, they started off with a contest to smash your phone and then you would get one of these for a dollar, which honestly I put in for but did not get chosen. Um, so, you know, whatever. But it's still an invite system. They re released, I think, another 5,000 invites yesterday. They have a contest for it. Um, but they are not directly selling these to the um, immediate public yet or to the general public yet. Um, but that has not stopped us. I received an invite last week, uh, about a week ago, put in my order right away, and here we are with the OnePlus One. Now it comes regular shipping, um, not UPS. It came in the States. It came United States Postal Service in an envelope in my mailbox. And it comes with two separate packages. This is the phone, and this is the charger. And I'm not sure if you can see on there, but it shows that it's an American charger um, sort of embossed or perforated or something into it and I think they just keep that for packaging so they can keep these all packaged together and not have to separate out which one is for the US and which one is for Europe or anything like that so let's take a look at this first and I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera but this is a, it's a high quality packaging um, it's got like a soft rubberized feel to it uh, you got the uh, one plus one logo there or the one plus logo I should say the phone is called one actually and that's about it it is a 5 volt 2 amp charger so let's get into this I mean everything about their presentation is top quality the charger is really nice not a piece of junk not well it looks well manufactured that's about it but i mean look at the the detail even in the packaging so all right so there we got the charger now let us get into this which is just the cardboard box on the outside and then they have a nice little tab here i mean this reminds me of when I got my Mac Pro and the Mac Pro, the cardboard box that it came in was looked like it was custom made from Apple. It had a peel away thing and all that. So um, big, big props to OnePlus for their packaging. And there we go. And then that reveals the actual box for the phone, which even the box has a tab to get it out of the cardboard so they thought of every little detail so let's take a look around this again you have the soft rubberized feel to it this is the sandstone black because it's the 64 gig model global version um, in the box you get the one plus one phone us cable sim ejection tool and it works with lte gsm and wcdma um, it also, there's the same thing over here, it's running CyanogenMod uh, and has the Snapdragon processor. So we'll get into specs later on, this is just the unboxing for now. And then again, same type of presentation as the wall charger where it slides out. And let us open the OnePlus box. So again, everything has a soft rubberized feel to it very high high end i mean you would think with a phone that you can buy the low end is 299 for the 32 gig with the white back this is the sandstone 64 gig um, with the uh, sandstone back and you would think that for that you would get some type of quality 
you know, packaging would be junk or something like that. But this, to me, seems very nice. I think that was maybe supposed to stay in there. So, oh yeah, I've been wanting to feel that for a while. And that's exactly right. Mike, uh, the Detroit Borg, um, compared this to the Logitech Harmony remotes, which I have also. And it is, it's the same exact uh, coating and feel on the back. I think Dom uh, compared it to a cross between sandpaper and velvet. So that's a pretty good descriptive uh, uh, description. Uh, so here we go. Let's see what's underneath. My SIM injection tool has popped out of its place, but it should be over in here. And it comes with a little key ring and then a little silicone rubberized holder. And then there's your SIM ejection tool, which is, I, I really like it having the case. I have to keep my HTC One, the one that came with my HTC, in my SD card case so I don't lose it. Um, but there you go, you got a little OnePlus branding on the back. Very nice. Like I said, it doesn't, they didn't cheat or chintz out on anything. Uh, packaging is all high quality. This reminds me of, the way Google Glass is packaged with their own little cutouts and things like that. So that's it for the packaging, which I will not be getting rid of. That's very nice packaging. I don't really get rid of any of my own packaging. So, um, and then you have here, you have the um, USB cable, which is a unique USB cable. For one, you have this rubberized cord um, management thing that stays on the cable. Uh, here is the, get you a little closer. There you can see the OnePlus, not sure how much you can see that on camera. But you have the OnePlus logo there. Um, it even has like a red inside, which is a nice touch. It's the no tangle flat cable. And then on this side is where it's really unique, and it just has, it's just a flat, it doesn't have the enclosure, the casing. There you see the four gold-plated prongs. So, very nice. So, and that's it. That is it for the accessories. Now let us get back, I'll get you guys in close here, to the star of the show. Not that close. So here it is, the One Plus One. Let's see what we got on there. This device only supports standard size micro SIM card usage or regular size SIM cards uh, or irregular size SIM cards may damage this device. The battery is not removable on this device. There is, if there's any issue regarding the battery, please contact One Plus customer service. Uh, the card holds information of this card holds information about your device please keep it along with your warranty card so that's the sticker there that uh, came on the um, the HTC one had it uh, stuck on the back of the phone so I like that they put it on the screen protector I'll take a look at the side you have your power button over here on the that would be the right hand side of the phone the top you have your noise canceling microphone and your three and a half millimeter headphone jack. On this side is your SIM ejection port, which you can't even tell that there is a slot there for the SIM card. Then your volume rocker, which is one piece, but it, it's in a good, it's in a very good position. Right there is where you're gonna want your power, and over here is your volume rock, so that's very nice. Uh, and then at the bottom you have your micro USB charging port and your two speakers and another microphone. And along the back you can see here you have your dual LED flash. It's not a dual colored LED flash but a dual LED flash and then you have your 13 megapixel camera up top there. Um, video quality you can shoot um, 4K video including uh, 4K DCI at 24 frames per second or 2160 at 30 frames a second. Also 1080 at 60 frames, 720 at 120, uh, 120 frames. 
and uh, you can shoot in HDR. The front-facing camera is also a very high megapixel camera, at least, um, for a front-facing. It's a 5 megapixel camera that can shoot 1080 at 30 frames a second. And you see that there, along with the sensors, um, your proximity sensors and stuff right there. So let us peel that off. That is it. That is a large, beautiful phone. So um, here we'll just compare it to the Galaxy S5, which I happen to have sitting right here. And a little bit taller, I'd say about, I don't know, half inch or so. And then width-wise, just a hair, um, just a hair wider. So, but it feels really good in the hand. It doesn't feel, it's really light and doesn't feel, I mean, compared, it's a little bit heavier than the S5, but it feels good. The weight distribution is good. It feels good in the hand. So let's power it up for the first time. And we will go through the boot process because people like to see that. You got your OnePlus logo powered by Android. And there's your Cyanogen Mod logo turning away. And there we go. Welcome to Cyanogen Mod, English United States. Next. Uh, we'll skip this for now just so we can get into it. Insert a SIM card. I will do that later. I do not have a Cyanogen account. I'll skip that for now. Personalize. Use on-screen keys. So you can see it popped up the on-screen keys or the other keys which are extremely dim. Which I heard are extremely dim and they are very dim. I don't even think you can see them on. So. We'll leave them off for now. I uh, use Cyanogenmon's theme. We'll do that. And there it is. Phone is ready and complete. And there it is. So I'll have uh, plenty of comparison videos coming with this. Uh, comparing this to the LG G3, the S5, the HTC One. Uh, pretty much all the other flagship um, Android phones, considering this is supposed to be the flagship killer. So we'll do some camera comparisons and just some general hardware comparisons in some upcoming videos. Thumbs up if that's something you guys would like to see. If there's anything particular, questions you have about the uh, OnePlus, the One, uh, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be glad to answer all those or even add them to the upcoming uh, comparison videos or reviews. Um, that's going to be about it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Uh, give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs down if you did not. I'm fine either way. Just let me know why you didn't like it so I can uh, get your feedback. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. He got first looks, reveals, and mad unboxings. Reviews telling you, is it bad or awesome? Should you spend your cash or is it best to save it? Leave a comment and debate it if it's tech related. Computers, Android, Apple, and tablets. If it's a gadget, then he has to have it. Watch for giveaways, hope you freaking heard that. Vlogs and gameplays from the Geeky Nerd Dad.